All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, today we are actually going to do the valve lash on this LT1. So basically looking at it, um, I'm gonna pull the top plenum so I can basically get the push rods set at zero lash. So this has a hot cam. It's a, I, I talked to Chris last night. It's an LT4 hot cam. So they're actually pretty, pretty lopy. It's a regrind. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to actually hear this thing run because it's got the long tube headers. It's got the Elderbrock heads. It's got the valve springs retainers, upgraded push rods. Everything's all done. Uh, she, should, she should work pretty good, especially made it to this T56, right? So uh, I'm gonna set these all to zero. I talked to my old man and uh, he's always set his with the big cams to, uh, to zero lash. So you don't you don't preload it after you don't go a quarter turn. So on a stock motor, uh, you guys could technically go uh, up to three quarters. Some guys even go to a to a full turn. I mean, you guys do your research. Your application will will need what it needs. But uh, so basically, I, I talked to another older fella there last night, and he he told me he said uh, he said on mine he said if it's my hot rod. He said, I'll set it to uh, quarter. So he said, it'll do zero lash and then quarter turn. Uh, he said, if it's my buddy's hot rod, he said, I want to outrun him. So he said, uh, I'm going to do a quarter turn and then another quarter turn. So it's so it's half. Uh, and then he said, if it's uh, your grandmother going, you know what I mean, in her old, in her old big uh, wagon or whatever, uh, she's going to the grocery store, he does three quarters to a full turn. So that's on a stock cam though. So you have to remember the cam lobes are pushing up on the push rods and that's opening and closing the valve. Open and close, open and close. So that's how it works, right? But uh, I don't know if you guys watching this have, have worked on any old V8 cars. My old man always had a 454 in his, his car. My uncle has always had 350s done to the nines in their mud trucks. So. Um, yeah, we're, this is pretty cool though, because LT1, a lot of guys always have a lot to say about the LT1, right? So I'm, I want to see what this thing can do. I'm sure it's got a lot of potential. And uh, if the mortar was built right, the spark system's all correct, the wiring's all good, it looks really good, nothing's been played with, uh, it should work really, really well. So um, I'm going to basically start getting to it, guys. All right, I also have this transmission here that was dropped off last night. So uh, they had it apart, they resealed it. Um, he said it was leaking, but he thinks it was just the drain. The drain plug was loose, so he tightened it up. Doesn't seem to be leaking. He pulled it, but he said uh, it, was, it was having a hard time shifting. So feels all right there, but we're gonna have to pull it apart. He also brought the linkage just to see if there's something Something going on there, but I think the linkage is, is fine. That feels all right. Let's see here. Yeah, that feels all right. That's actually pretty tight for most uh, most Hondas. But uh, I'm gonna basically pull this apart too. I'll show you guys how to do that, and we'll go from there.
All right, guys, this sucker's on there. So the uh, the used right stuff plus the gasket. So it's a it's a steel block, uh, iron block. So there she is. So I just didn't want to start beating on the the throttle body and stuff. There's nowhere to grab it. I didn't want to beat up the, the nice aluminum head. So just like that, just a quick little pry. You're not gonna crack the block. So. Now, work this off here. Still stuck on the back. Gotta go back and forth with it. Gonna need new gaskets either way, so. Just like that, guys. So, that's your basic LT1 intake manifold. Unported injectors look new, or they were clean. One of the two, you can see. So, we're just gonna set this girl aside so we can start working on uh, everything else. All right, so this is what we got, guys. So you can see uh, the different stroke. So you can see some are collapsed, some aren't. Um, these heads actually do look pretty nice on the inside. Eh? Actually pretty impressed with that. A lot better than the other side. But yeah, you guys can see here, right? Look at the movement I got there. That one's not bad, but look at this. All right, All right. So it looks like they did have them in oil, but you can tell the, the block's definitely dry right now, I would say, I would dare say. But all right, I'll get you guys on time lapse and I'll show you how to do, set this up. Okay guys, so first step here, because we don't know how this mortar was put together. Uh, Chris didn't know if they had them sitting in oil first. I can already tell right now just by looking at it that I'm collapsing, collapsing uh, the lifter, right? So it's really it's hard for you guys to see, but uh, I'm actually collapsing the lifter, lifter there, so that means there's no oil in it. So you don't want to collapse the lifter. These ones here that are hard right now, um, that is the intake opening. So down inside. Okay, so looking at this um the lash is it is close somebody eyeballed it but our lifters are there's no oil in them whatsoever so to prime this system best thing to do is outside the vehicle still has the hole like the old distributor from the 350s you know what i mean so if you guys ever worked on an old school 350 or whatever the distributor's right here so these lt ones <clears throat> this is the distributor so you gotta pull this out and there's a tool you can buy. Um, I've seen a couple guys make a couple cool little tools there. So I'll probably try to do that and it'll be easy for me because I'm outside. But uh, another thing I can do is put the flywheel on and the clutch, the flywheel will be fine for now though, but I'll put the clutch on after too. And uh, I'm gonna put the starter on. So if I give that power just little by little, It'll actually prime the system. So obviously when they built the mortar, they, they lubed the bearings and everything like that. But you don't want to, just in case, you don't want to like stay right on it, right? So you want to see if you can start building oil pressure. And once it starts building oil pressure, you'll see the, the lifters actually fill up the valley. And then you'll see it actually come out of these holes. So uh, basically I'm going to get the flywheel on, the starter on. And then uh, go from there. Basically, there's no oil in the pan, I, I checked. So obviously no oil in the pan, they obviously didn't prime anything. So um, that's, that's why we're doing what we're doing right now. And uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along. All right guys, so just so you know, it's uh, 87 foot-pounds. So just working a 
Stair pattern, go over it a couple times. That's your dowel. This is where the shaft, center shaft of the T56 will go into, right? So there's, uh, there's actually no pilot bearing there. Uh, besides that, I'm gonna throw this starter on. So we've got a new starter. I'm gonna throw this up here. And uh, just to have it all together, I just ordered a set of plugs, ordered a new set. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's just uh, stuff. So I uh, ordered a new set of plug wires for this. And uh, like I said, there's no oil in the pan, so I'm gonna pull this out. It does have the hole. And uh, my dad's actually bringing me a distributor that I can set in there to prime it. So we'll just do that instead. It's got the same hole and everything. So uh, Lee's actually on her way to bring me that and I got a drill so I can do it that way. Just because if you put the starter on and you try to turn it over, uh, it will work. But if you do it this way, you're just turning the oil pump, right? So you're not, if, if everything else is dry, you're not gonna hurt anything. This way you can prime the pump, get the oil flowing. And then on startup, you already know the motor's primed. So um, I'm gonna, get some break-in oil for this. I think we're just gonna run Rotella 1540 for a couple days, and then we'll put some nice uh, Valvoline VR1 or, or something in it. All right guys, so I went to the store, got some uh, some fresh oil for some break-in, so Rotella T4 1540. Um, that's what I run in all the race cars, and uh, if he wants to switch it up to like VR1 later or something, we can do that. So uh, I coated the valley, coated the lifters. Basically, um, I'm going to set the lash, but first I need to prime the oil system. So I want to prime it all here. And if you look down inside, it's hard to see, but there's a gear there. You can kind of see the edge of it. So uh, my dad's actually bringing me a distributor. I'm going to set it in there, and then we're going to turn the oil pump and prime the system before I even go and try to set these back at zero. Because... Uh, Obviously, they never ran this motor. They never had it on an engine dyno because the oil pan was empty. So I'm just waiting for that to show up and I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pull this out, show you what's up. So my dad's woman just brought me this and I'll show you here in a sec. Motion race works doing their thing. Motion auto TV, I mean. So. Inside that hole, down inside, that's your oil pump, okay? So you can see down in there, there's a gear. It's got like a little uh, groove in it. So basically this end here, I'll show you. I'm gonna set this up. Let's see if I can set this in here. So this little groove here has to go down in there. So it's straight up and down, so we're gonna go like this. Slide this guy in, just like that, and we're in the pump. So, you guys can hear the pump trying to do its thing. So, what I'm going to do is set you guys up, and uh, I'm going to hook up my drill to that, and then we're going to prime this system. Cool. That's it. Just primed right up. That's the thing with it being cut off. You can go too deep or too not enough, eh? So set this here for a sec. You can see down inside. We got oil everywhere. So those lifters should be a, a little tighter. Yeah, that. Gotta go a little more. These ones are still a little loose, but tightened everything else up. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. See, they might still need lash. So, yeah, it might have to go around and do the lash again. But I think I'll go over and turn this over a couple more times and definitely helped out though, big time. All right, guys, so I've done four revolutions of 90 just to help prime it. And I can see I'm starting to get out, out of this one. Oil starting to come out of this one. Uh, all the lifters are getting primed, so now our lash is where we want it. 
So this is the last one I'm going to do for the oil pump. So I have that set up. See it coming out over on the other side. So this side's fully primed. I'm gonna to try to keep priming this side a bit longer here. Let's set you guys back down. what she's getting so that's four good revolutions you can see it all coming out here it's starting to come out this one these two are just are done, shot. Done, done 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 yeah this one i don't know we'll see anything. so maybe i'll do one more revolution here and then just get a little bit in that one's got some this one but mm -hmm. this one here is it that's see i'm proud by me doing it manually i'm only getting probably like 30 pounds so technically guys you should put a gauge take the oil pressure out and then check it with a gauge but uh, I basically know from watching my old man. That <laughs> so I did one quarter turn to make it start bleeding on that side real quick. You can see the other side's bleeding out good now too. So I think I'll bring this stroke down and then this one should come now. So maybe we'll just keep going around until we get there. Oh my god. Right there. So we're pumping now. This one should probably start coming out here. Oh, I think I lost my guy. Lost him. There it is. That's what she's getting. She's fully primed. Because you can definitely see it starting to come up the hole now. It's just barely there. So well, that's how you do that, guys. So you're gonna whip this distributor because it runs out that opti spark now. But let's see here. There. Get that cleaned up and we're good to go. Alright guys, so uh I just did two full revolutions, so 890s to, to make two 360s which is two turns and uh, everything is good to go now I adjusted everything that I needed to do we got the lifters primed the oil pump primed all the oil was coming out of here you guys seen so that's how you know that basically everything's full of oil so um, happy with that now I'm gonna reseal clean this up here clean this up and then reseal the intake get that on and basically get this thing ready to go in so i got the flywheel on gonna throw the clutch on and then uh, that crossover pipe from these two holes and then run my line up front and this thing's going in so i've been waiting all day for parts i had to go get oil but now uh 
we're ready to rock. Just got this all resealed back up here. You can see some silicone. This side too. Clean the back side of the intake manifold. Make sure your injectors are clean. No, no debris in there, so I blew it all out. Took a nice razor blade, so don't don't take a grinder to this at all. Just take your regular razor blade, go slow, work your way. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this thing put back on, torque back down, and uh, once we get our coolant pipes here, this thing will be ready to go in. Cool, so clutch is on, flywheel's on, everything's torqued, so 87 foot-pounds, uh, 50, let's say here, 52. Yeah, 50, 52 foot-pounds. On these ones, Loctite. And uh, Chris should be here any minute with the valve covers and the crossover pipe. And then I'm gonna set this thing in tonight, boys. Next time you'll see this, it'll be in. Got a long ways to go, eh? <laughs> a little heavier than All right, guys, we got her in. She's looking pretty good. Thanks to Robert. No problem, Appreciate no it. But uh, had to get the pulley off to actually go in through this way. But uh, we got her. We're gonna get her back on here in a minute, and then uh, we just got the bolts through. So we'll start adding some accessories and water pump and all the other good stuff and the headers and. Oh wait, it went good for being too. Transmission. Good. So. But uh, pretty excited, boys. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah,